Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to install the FrySky do-it-yourself uh, ACCST module into your receiver into any PPM receiver and this is the MX12 from JR or Grobner and I'm going to show you how to install it and what you need in order to do that so of course you need a soldering iron um, a helping hand as well as some solder and um, a screwdriver to open the transmitter as well as some heat shrinks uh, for the wires this is what it comes shipped like um, you got an instruction manual and of course you got your do-it-yourself Sky system um, which is using the PPM, the ground and the plus on your transmitter and um, here you've got the button for binding as well as a LED indicating the mode your transmitter is in as well as the 2.4 gigahertz antenna okay so the first step is to open up your transmitter therefore you do want to uh, get your battery out of your transmitter now you can open it up and as you can see I already got a switch in there uh, which is going to help me switch between the 35 megahertz and 2.4 gigahertz system Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open up the transmitter, except for I already got the three signal wires I need um, extracted from the board and this is what you have to do. As you can see there are three wires coming from the transmitter itself and um, before I made some changes to it these three wires were connecting to the 35 megahertz board right here and you have to check out uh, and find out which one is the ground which one is the positive and which one is the uh, PPM signal wire you can do that by using uh, a multimeter and once you figured that out you can uh, extract the cable in the cables in the right direction and what I did to it is um, I intercepted the signal coming from the main board and connected this, it to this t uh, switch right here and this switch changes the power um, from the 35 megahertz board to another external source which is going to be the 2.4 gigahertz system and by switching the power you also switch the uh, system that is going to be in use of course you have to switch the PPM signal as well but you don't have to connect the PPM signal to the switch so as you can see right here um, the PPM signal, this white one, is coming from the main board and is directly uh, soldered to the 35 megahertz. And then there's another wire running with the PPM signal to this connector, which is going to be soldered onto uh, the 2.4 gigahertz system. So um, the positive and the ground wire right here coming from the board are. Uh, wired to the switch to the switch right here and this switch uh, runs through the 35 megahertz board as well as to the um, connector I'm going to solder so what I'm going to do now is I've got my ground this is the brown one I've got my PPM signal which is the white one and I've got my positive wire which is the red one and I'm going to solder these to the uh, FrySky system 
and here the yellow one is the PPM signal, the black one is the ground wire and the red one is the positive. So first I cut the wires off the connector, I don't need this one anymore. Um, I used it for the BEVRC long range system but I'm not going to use this one in this transmitter anymore. So now I'm stripping the uh, PPM signal wire and I'm going to use my helping hand. Okay, now we have all three wires soldered onto the board. We've got the PPM, we've got the positive and the ground wire, which are controlled by the switch on the outside here. And um, the next step is to find a place in the transmitter where we can put the board as well as the antenna and of course the uh, binding uh, button. So after thinking about where to put the module and where to put the binding button, I decided to um, drill two holes right here, two small holes for the binding button and the LED and uh, drill another hole on the back right here so that the antenna is going to um, be mounted like this. Okay, So once it's done it looks like this. Well, works fine. This is what it's going to look like. Okay, so now I've got the binding button and the uh, status LED in place and I'm going to fix them, fixate them with a drop of hot glue. And you want to make sure that you don't get hot glue on the button, which is going to harm the trigger function. Okay, I decided myself to um, stick the FrySky module with a double-sided foamy tape on the main board. It's going to fit and um, there's still going to be enough space for the battery tray. So I'm going to stick it on there and then I'm going to screw all screws back in place. And um, yeah, that is it. You can screw the transmitter side back on and you've got your first scan module installed. Next step is to bind the receiver with the transmitter and to do that you have to make sure that your transmitter is in PPM mode this is very important otherwise it won't work. The first step is to turn on your transmitter by holding down the bind button that you installed uh, with the 2.4 GHz system. So I'm holding down this button, turning on the transmitter. I'm waiting a few seconds. I release the button and now it's flashing red. Um, this indicates that the transmitter is ready to uh, be bind. And uh, next step is I'm going to connect the power source 
to my uh, receiver. You want to make sure that it, you have it uh, the right way on there. I'm going to connect the servo just for testing. And now I press down this button while uh, turning on the power on the receiver. And now that one is flashing uh, as well. And as soon as this one is flashing, it symbolizes that there is a connection made. And now you have to turn both off. Now you can turn on them again. And now you have a connection made. Simple as that. So thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe.